This is Gary and Denise and the story of their beautiful solid timber home in Mullumbimby. In February 2022, their home was flooded up to about 15 centimetres through the home. Uh, they were insured and they negotiated hard uh, to take a cash settlement and take control of the rebuild of their place. Gary's done a lot of the work himself and there's some beautiful features to check out. So let's go in and have a look at Gary and Denise's place. So just on entry here, I wanted to show you that Gary has taken off the bottom board there just to show you that there are ways to access the cavity to let them dry out after floods that may be less invasive than actually cutting the wall on the other on the inside of that cavity. So he'll talk to people on the tour about that idea. And when we come in, there's Gary. Say hi, Gary. <laughs> so in the lounge room, or the front room here, you can see that the hardwood boards on the wall um, have been replaced. So Gary uh, sourced those locally. Uh, the insurer ripped them out, threw them out, probably didn't need to do that. Um, but it's all about accessing that cavity and just making sure that the house frame dries out. So that's an example of flood resilient wall lining in hardwood timber. Now in the bedrooms, Gary has done a really cool job with the wardrobes. So wardrobe doors um, are often not great in terms of being flood resilient. They're likely to be hollow core doors. In this home, they got thrown out and Gary decided not to put them back on. So it's a really great example of a flood resilient technique, which isn't even a choice of an alternative material. It's actually just to question, do you actually need to replace it at all? So he's made a really cool feature of the, the arc or the trim here with this little hardwood trim. And the other thing to know about this wardrobe is the back actually did have like a particle board. It wasn't a gyp rock, but it was a board lining this wall and lining on this side over here that got thrown out. And again, the question was asked, do we need to actually replace it at all? And he didn't. So he's used a gorgeous high gloss paint to turn it into a feature. And the shelving is all metal and the shelves can be lifted up and out of the floodwaters if there's time and likely washed out if they do get inundated. So I just wanted to mention the floors in this beautiful timber home um, are the original hardwood floors and often in homes like this straight after flooding they do cup a little bit they absorb a little bit of water and sometimes assessors suggest that it should all be ripped up and thrown out but there's just no need for that they just need a little bit of time to dry out so as you can see these are perfect um, in this kitchen and dining area um, the floor is a particle board with a lino on top so this is going to be replaced and because gary and denise see the benefit of hardwood flooring they're going to actually run that through here as well and they were surprised that the difference in price wasn't as stark as they had imagined it would be um, to replace lino on the hard on a um, you know a yellow tongue floor was actually pretty expensive and in this room i just wanted to show you this is another one of the fabulous outcomes that sometimes happen when homes flood so this is a bedroom with doors to outside now all of these walls were covered in gyp rock so they were just gyp rock from the top to the bottom um, all, the way, all the way around. And when the gyp rock was all ripped off, of course, what it exposed is the original timbers that used to line the walls of this house. So these are completely flood resilient. And Gary and Denise have decided, why would you put anything back over them? It's just not necessary. So the top is, is still gyp rock. And you can tell the difference between the original boards. <clears throat> and then Gary has actually... Um, installed new boards on two of the walls because there was actually a hole here as if there was a doorway originally on this wall and so there was a big gap in the timbers and so Gary took the short pieces out the side of the door and actually filled in where there were some gaps on these walls over here but isn't it beautiful now we're outside in the garden and the birds are so noisy 
Um, I thought we would have a look down here and see if we can find the hot water service that has been raised up really high. So this was one of the things that was done immediately after the flood in February 2022 because there was no hot water available to the home owners and they did stay in the house for some time before they moved out so that it could be fixed.